next level. So 244 is great, but I need to drop four plus minutes off of that time. And so what do I need? up that Monday. Nine weeks left. Just like we said. Everything. Alright, alright, alright. What is happening everybody? Welcome to the new office. This is my new working space. A little backyard spot, a little tough shed. Not bad. Keeps me here, focus, being able to work, getting ready to talk to you guys about my Chicago 2021 plan. And so as we get into this, understand I've been fortunate. I've been able to string along about three to four years uh, of running without getting injured. And so when I went to go build this plan, my goal, as it's no secret, I've been wanting to hit sub 240 for this marathon so when i am putting this together i took what my previous pr was 2019 chicago marathon training plan i took my 2020 where i was probably in the best marathon shape that i've ever been in training plan uh, even though i didn't race a marathon i did have a 16 mile threshold run at just above six minute pace which was pretty easy uh, when I looked at that and then I took what I did in early of this year for my half marathon PR which is a 118 and the big takeaways from that so when I look at what were the big takeaways for me 12 14 weeks of training is maximum I did a 17 plus week training block for the half marathon in 2021 and I was blown up by the time the race came Number two is I can increase my miles. So 2020 got me the ability to be able to go from, you know, those 50, 60 mile weeks to putting in 80 plus mile weeks because there's a lot of base strength, a lot of easy miles, a lot of low heart rate. And so I really wanted to focus on how do I get myself up to those higher mileages because I found the benefit in doing those. With those higher mileage is I have to keep the heart rate monitor on. In early 2021, I just took my easy runs easy and found that that was part of the reason why I definitely, definitely um, most likely had the issues with overtraining uh, on that training block. The other thing, uh, two big things that I took away from that were lots of 20 milers so because i can put in these uh longer training blocks i started doing 20 milers for the chicago in 2019 and then in 2020 i did them from pretty much week um five of the training block all the way through uh till my taper started and so that's going to be a key component to that aspect is being able to do a lot of those 20 milers but then an interesting thing was I did a ton of cycling uh, in my PR. So I did 244 in 2019 and I did cycling for a, all the way up into uh, either primarily, which is that base build that I did this training block, 
or all the way up until week five of my train block. Every Saturday I didn't run, I actually biked. And so I wanted to incorporate a lot of cycling into this train block to ensure that I get to that PR hitting sub 240. So what do I need to hit the next level? So 244 is great, but I need to drop four plus minutes off of that time. And so what do I need? Number one, I don't necessarily need speed. I need threshold. So in the beginning of this training block, I just went out and ran a mile time trial to see what I could do one year ago from when I uh, did my fastest uh, mile that I had ever done. And I still ran a sub five minute mile. I ran a 456, 457, somewhere in there. Um, and so I have the speed, but what I need is the longer threshold. And so when I looked at what are the workouts that really help me out the most is those longer threshold runs. So thinking of mile repeats, thinking of five times two miles, thinking of prog progressive runs, thinking of uh, longer runs followed by a 5K threshold. Those are the types of workouts that I need to build into this training block in order for me to be successful. And then last but not least, I, I've got to add strength training. Uh, it's always going to come down to miles 21 to 26. And if I can incorporate strength training, I'm finally actually going to be consistent with that this year. Um, I'm five weeks, four and a half weeks into the training block and I'm already feeling the benefits of strength. Thank you, Wahoo, for helping me make sure I do my strength. So, uh, a little more coffee here. What are the key phases of my training? So, I'm gonna break it down into three really big phases. One, that base uh, building, two, the build, and then three, the taper. So, that base training is kind of two blocks for me. One, I did a ton of cycling. I did about five-ish plus weeks of strictly cycling, capping it off with multiple days in the Swiss Alps, putting in 10,000 feet of climbing, uh, doing a lot of hills, doing a lot of cycling to be able to put in the miles but not have to worry so much about doing the pounding on the legs. So I incorporated a lot of that. And then the first three weeks of my running was a lot of base building, getting that mileage up to that 70 miles a week to where I know my body's ready, fresh, fit, and healthy getting into this training block. So that's phase one, the base. Number two is really what I call the working phase. And so I'm just starting to get into that about week five of this training block. So we're gonna be incorporating lots of speed, uh, which I consider speed now, around that one mile up to uh, two, three, four, five K speed work to be able to get the body used to what does a 605 mile feel like on a regular basis? What does that six mile, a six minute per mile feel like? So some of those key workouts, seven times one mile followed by four times 800 meters. And all of that is just at uh, marathon pace, no faster and keeping that rest limited. Another workout will be uh, an eight mile progression run, building up to marathon pace and then two times one mile at marathon pace. So again, nothing super speed, but just getting that body ready for marathon pace. And then as we really start to dial in those longer threshold runs towards the end of that, that build work phase, I'll be looking at uh, six times uh, or six miles at marathon pace, one mile hard, mile rest, do that again. All of this leading into a 16 mile at marathon pace, which is my peak weekend of training, just to get the rhythm in the body used to, what does it feel like? And then we get a taper. I, I, my biggest thing is get to the starting line fresh, couple tapers, one of the things that I like to do is 200s the week of the race just to get the body kind of turning the thing over, uh, turning the legs over and getting ready. So that's where I'm going to be. I'm going to be capping out somewhere between 80 and 85 miles a week. If I incorporate a couple uh, afternoon runs, I'll most likely probably 
throw in a couple of those, maybe hitting 90 one week, but I don't like to stress myself out by having those part of the training plan because if I do, uh, it's running is not my number one thing. It's my family and it's my job and then running follows after that. And so uh, I don't wanna force myself into pushing too hard to hit uh, afternoon runs if I simply don't have the time uh, to, to be able to do it when I have other commitments in my life. So if you want to download this training plan, it is in the description below for uh, you just to send over your email, send emails you over a PDF of this training plan. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know, follow along, enjoy the journey, and I look forward to hopefully seeing many of you on the starting line of Chicago 2021. Take care, everybody. Thank you.